Hello friends, welcome to devlog number three. For this one I decided to do more of a less scripted video of what I've been working on these past two weeks. Thank you for joining me again, now let's get to it. I'm not sure I'll ever get away from doors. So my old door uh, utilized a second line trace. So the first line trace would see if there was an object in front of them that they could interact with. And then a second line trace within the door blueprint would see if they were indeed looking at a door. Then also within that door blueprint, the actual input action of grabbing the door existed as well as releasing the door. And then it would call the function to activate and actually be able to drag the door. And whoosh, she opened. In the new blueprint, it's basically the same thing. This deactivation no longer does anything within the blueprint itself. Uh, instead, I've utilized functions of the interact to both drag the door uh, and release the door. And they come off of the base character using the input grab action and release. And just utilizing the single line trace. Now this single line trace is able to interact with both uh, pickup items, doors, and anything else I might want to interact with in the environment. I've also changed this line trace to be a sphere trace. That gives the player a little bit of a wider net to cast. So if the item is small, like a key for instance, you don't have to try to pinpoint a tiny line that you can't even see on the screen to interact with the key. So I've been working on a lot these past two weeks. One thing I did was model a gate. I modeled it in Blender and brought it into Unreal and used, uh, used a scratched iron texture. I think it came out pretty good. Used the same blueprints as the as the door, uh, except it works on uh, works within a frame. I used some tutorials for a basic um, inventory. So right now the inventory shows nothing. Um, I can go over here. Uh, I have it set so that what it highlights over an object. Uh, it sort of gives it an outline. So I can pick up this box here. Uh, now it shows I just have a temporary image here. I have, I have a single box. Uh, if I pick up another box, I now have two boxes. Um, I can drop this box. It'll drop in place. Now I still have one box. Uh, I can drop the other one on top. Kind of messes up a little. Um, I can pick up this box again. To his box. Uh, this lantern here, pick up the lantern. I have the lantern, drop the lantern. These actually all work off of the same blueprint, which is this uh, space item here. So um, when I pick up the item, it looks to see what item I have set it as. It adds it to your inventory, uh, and then it destroys the item on the screen. So, in the editor here, they all show up as, as these little boxes. However, in the, in the code here, I have it set, this item is a box, quantity is one, and when it looks at this item data table, which is here. Right now I only have the box and the lantern, but I can set this for as many items as I need in the game. Uh, I can set uh, the thumbnail for what it looks like when the inventory is pulled up. The actual 3D model that it exists on the ground. And I can make them bigger or smaller with the scale. So there, there's the lantern. Now the lantern was just sort of a test. 
I also have um, I also have this lantern uh, for in the game this lantern is actually not an item that will be added to your inventory but when you pick this up it changes the player state so that it's now holding the lantern so there is no lantern in the inventory but he has it he has it on his person and it still puts out the light I have also been working on a menu, a start menu, but using a bunch of a bunch of widgets. Uh, just kind of learning how that all works. So I've created a new level for the start menu. It's very basic, but but when you start playing, um, I've just just use some music from from YouTube for right now as, as kind of a bass. I made some sounds for the for the hovering. Uh, you can go to the options. Right now most of these are just just sort of uh, stand-ins. However, the uh, I do have it so that the audio slider does work. Uh, right now, because it's on the menu, you can do it for the music or the master. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some uh, save game information in here. Uh, the exit will quit the game. And sort of in Resident Evil style. put a bunch of sounds together to to make that and it fades out and starts the the first level which right now is just this but so pretty happy with that menu stuff one last thing i've been doing is participating in hashtag devtober so if you want to follow me over on twitter you can see daily updates of what i've been working on well, that's all for now again thank you for joining me and i'll see you next time Remember to always carry a light into the darkness.